So this is the Century Gothic camera made by the Century Camera Company. And one of the notable things about cameras made of the style at the time was it was, you know, there was no television, no internet. So the entertainment that people got was a lot of time getting these catalogs that would describe how the cameras were made and what made them unique. So for example, it was noted in the by the manufacturer in this um, in the catalog that this leather is the same leather used for the bellows to used for women's hand gloves. So that was very notable that it was high quality leather. Also the wood that you would see here is made from mahogany and as it retracts and closes up it folds into a very nice neat box that can be traveled and transported anywhere you need it to go. The 4x5 version of this camera in the time that it was made between 1902 and 1908 sold for about $35. Alice has the holder loaded. She first thing she does is opens up the shutter and actually she opens up the shutter and focuses on the image that she's willing to take. She then closes the shutter. She inserts the plate into the back of the camera. She pulls the slide. She squeezes the bulb, takes the exposure. She then replaces the slide with the dark side out. We now have an exposed plate. Okay, so you adjust it with this bar. Where? Um, right here, you move it. So oh, okay. 35 year old camera and about, and basically the first thing that you need to do is you need to make sure this is showing if you want to take it. This is the viewfinder to see where your picture is. And the first thing you need to do is to adjust the like the lighting. There's a bar over here with a positive and a negative sign, and if you want it to be in between them, you have to adjust this like so that it's in between. And then to adjust the focus or the distance, you move this bar, and this moves it closer, moving it to like the right this way. Uh, wait, no, moving it this way increases the distance that it can see, and if you move it this way to the right, then it decreases the distance and it focuses something closer. So, and then if you want to take the photo, uh, you just press this.